Tractable Car Shop. Today it's Steve doing your walk round appraisal. Here we've got a Ford Fiesta, it's an ST line, 1 litre, 125 PS. Beautiful colour, chrome blue. It's a 2019 on a 19 plate. Let's we'll have a little walk around, show you around the car. The purpose of this video is just to show you there's no real bad damage on the car, no bad dents, scuffs, or scrapes. So we'll start off with the front bumper. Start off with the bottom bit first of all, we'll walk around there. It is obviously a used car, not brand new, so there could be some minor, minor wear and tear. Maybe on the surface mark or uh, stone chip that's been touched in, etc. But other than that, we should be looking pretty good. So that's all looking nice and tidy. Up onto the bonnet. As I said, chrome blue, beautiful colour. Looking really, really nice. So coming round front passenger side. ST line, as you can see there. Alloys, great looking alloys. So we'll come round to the front passenger door. Show you that, all looking nice and tidy. Privacy glass in the back, always a nice feature. Makes it look really, really nice. On to the rest of the rear door, we'll just do a shot down the side, just so you can see the side of the vehicle there. Rear alloy, absolutely fine as well. So onto the rear wheel arch, quarter panel. Quick look up on the roof, there's your aerial. All looking nice and tidy, so. We'll come round now onto the rear bumper. It's all looking good. Right round the bumper there, all looking nice and tidy. Tailgate, again, absolutely fine. Looking good. Just pop the boot open so you can see inside. Plenty of space in there, nice and, uh, nice and roomy. Lots of storage room, it's nice and deep as well. And you've got your parcel shelf in situ there as well. So coming around onto the rear at the driver's side. Again, looking nice and tidy. Rear alloy, absolutely fine. Onto the rear door. Rear door looking good. Nice and tidy, as I said. No bad damage on there at all. Front door. Mirror housing, all intact and looking nice. And then onto the front wing, back to where we started. And that's all looking good. We'll just check that alloy. As with the rest, all looking nice and tidy. So we'll have a quick look inside. Just check the door card first of all. Door card all nice and tidy. Manual windows in the back, electric windows in the front on this car. And the upholstery. Just to show you no bad rips, tears, damage or anything. Three, three seat belts, three headrests. Isofix on the two outer seats. So everything you need there. So we'll have a quick look inside the car as well. Start off again, we will just do a look at the door card, which is looking okay. Self-locking system here, so you can lock yourself in the vehicle, it should you wish. And then we've got electric windows at the front, then just select left or right door mirror, and then you can move it with a little joystick just there. And then the driver's seat, and then you've got the height adjuster just there. So quick look inside. Hit me now, that cold. Okay, so stop start button. So as long as you've got the key in the car with you, press the button, the car will come to life. It does need a drop of fuel. So multifunction on the steering wheel. Just start off with this left hand side here, as you can see. Um, so we've got speed limiter on the left hand side. We've got volume control and a mute function just there. Um, and then we've got a voice activation button for here. And then we've got active, you can um, access phone calls, answer phone calls and disconnect phone calls. Also it changes radio station music track on the audio. And then you've got your menu, you can see there, you can have a digital speedo, you should just push the lever up, you've got different different options which you can go through there. Driver assist, etc. Uh, we've also got on the lender left front stock, if you press that button in, you'll see, it turns on the lane keeping assist. Obviously, if you don't like that, you can turn it off again. Just press the button again. So that's all working as it should. Over into the centre here, we've got the uh, the main screen. So, split into three. So, we've got sat nav here. So, you've got the map on, which is on there all the time. You can basically uh, press navigation. You just press the map and it'll populate the screen. Destination, and obviously, enter where you want to go. It's a really good satellite navigation system. Um, Add device, obviously for pairing your uh, your phone by Bluetooth. 
audio, you can touch it just there, or you can turn it on and off just here. And I'll just turn that down, press it again, and again, it populates the screen. Sources button just there, so you can see what you've got, AM, FM, DAB, Bluetooth audio. If you plug in your phone or a, a USB stick or into the USB plug there, it will come up here as another option for you to play music from. Okay, so absolutely fine, working great on there. We'll just turn that audio off and then you've got your settings button there look all these just slide the menus along you've got android auto apple carplay very very simple to use press the home screen takes you back to where you were then as we come down obviously it has a warning lights there then we've got your heating system so obviously straightforward here you've just got your blower that lights up as you go along you can turn the system on and off all together just here obviously you've got your directional fire where you've got the hot or cold to go heated windscreen heated rear window aircon on and off, air recirculate and obviously you've got your hot and cold just there so very very easy to use and then on there you can see you have got your USB socket just there we've got a 12 volt socket there as well nice alloy top sporty gear knob um, 6 speed manual gearbox and then I'll just show you these buttons down here so you can see we've got Eco, TCS and A the A with a little mark around it that's to turn the uh, intelligent stop start tech system off uh, that turns your traction control on and off and this one if I just press eco and have the camera up here for you you see there's a little eco thing comes like this it shows it into eco mode basically so just cuts down a little back bit of power out of the engine just just to basically ooze as much miles per gallon as you can out of the car turn sideways we've got another couple of cup holders there for you one in the back and there's another USB socket for your passengers in the rear should you wish the car has only done 9,069 miles. So nice low miles. Dashboard, plastics, everything looking absolutely beautiful. Sun, we have got a bit of sunlight streaming in, so it is making it a bit, a bit bright in here, a bit glary, but I do apologize. But as you can see, everything absolutely fine. Really, really nice car. So we'll have a little walk around to the passenger side. I'll just show you from there as well. It just helps I'll show you the, uh, the seats all the way across. So again, door card looking absolutely fine. The manual windows in the rear, electric windows in the front, as I said. And then the upholstery from here, all the way across. Looking really, really nice. To be fair, those rear seats don't look like they've hardly been sat on, to be honest. And then door card, electric windows, ST, ST line that should be down there. You can see the ST line there, look, on the sill plate. And then the front seat all looking nice and tidy. So there you go. Ford Fiesta ST line, one litre, 125 PS in chrome blue, five door. Beautiful car. Looking great. It's in stock now. Nice low mile, 9,000 miles on it. It's in stock now. Thanks very much for watching the video.